How's it going everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be talking about the newly released Slypod Pro by Moza. If you never heard of it, <laughs> well let me introduce you to it. Introducing a newly designed 3-in-1 system enabling you to capture amazing shots. Using high precision controls made easy, you can do wonders. Made of lightweighted carbon fiber body, you can reach further and faster than ever before. SlyPod Pro by Moza. How do you like that short cinematic commercial I did? Pretty awesome, right? The SlyPod Pro was sent to me by Moza. However, I wasn't asked or paid to say anything specific. So everything you'll hear will be my honest opinion. But in general, I do love their products as they are very innovative. Now I have made an in-depth review of the previous model, which is the SlyPod E. If you haven't seen it, make sure to check it out as well as both do work similarly. With the upgraded version of the SlyPod Pro though, Moza has put a lot of thought into it that expands the functionality for filmmakers to shoot even better videos. Not only will I be showing you the difference between the Slypod E and the Slypod Pro, but also give you awesome tips on how to shoot creatively with it. I'm gonna have George helping me out with the behind the scenes. Once again, thank you so much, George. Freaking start a YouTube channel already. Anyway, with that said, let's jump into the video. I would first like to talk about the difference between the Slypod E and the Slypod Pro. The Slypod Pro is almost twice as long and extends to 53 centimeters where the Slypod E extends only to 28 centimeters. This makes the Slypod Pro great to reach higher limits and use it as a monopod. This way I can support my camera without the need of a tripod and is an improved way to achieving smooth shots over hand holding the camera. Both Slypods have a tripod leg but the Slypod Pro additionally comes with a ball head locking mechanism. I can unlock it by pushing it up and twisting it to move the monopod freely or locking it by twisting it back down to take static shots. The tripod legs are large enough to hold the camera safely. What's also different is that I can fold the legs back to save some space. The Slypod Pro also extends twice as fast than the Slypod E, making camera movements more noticeable. The Slypod Pro also comes with a sophisticated head mount with an Arca Swiss plate that allows you to position the camera in any direction. Another improvement I noticed is that the Slypod Pro is quieter than the Slypod E. To give you an idea, here's a quick noise comparison of both Slypods traveling at the same speed. You will also get additional cables to control your camera with the app for all major brands like Sony, Panasonic, Canon, and Nikon. The Slypod Pro is a bit larger and longer, but I had no problems carrying it with me on the go as the body is made out of carbon fiber, making it lightweight to bring along. It's around 1.4 kilos. The vertical payload is six kilos and the horizontal payload is two kilos. The runtime of the Slypod Pro is four hours, whereas the Slypod E is two hours, but on both you can easily use a power bank to recharge while operating it. I would now like to show you how you can use the Slypod Pro creatively in your videos. Like mentioned at the beginning, I can use the Slypod Pro not only as a slider, but also as a monopod. I can simply extend the pole all the way, use the quick release plate to mount the camera on top, unlock the ball head and adjust the knob to get smooth looking push in and push out shots. And you can also create awesome revealing shots as well. This is a great way to rest my arms and is beneficial for my back, especially when using a larger lens. The next one is the upward shot. The upward shot is my favorite way to use the gimbal as it's easy to set up. In this example, I used two slide pots to create a revealing shot. This way I was able to go higher and reach the tree branch while also filming myself. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to control both slide pods with the app, but the great thing about the slide pods is that you have a plus and minus button to trigger the slider for more flexibility. I was quite surprised with the shot. It stayed steady even though we were shooting on a windy day. Now you don't have to have two slide pods. You can of course also use a tripod to reach higher limits. So the next shot is a fun one. Uh, I wanted to create a low time-lapse shot. 
I mounted the included tripod to the side of the SlidePod Pro to get a lower angle. The slider not only supports large cameras, but also smartphones. In this example, I mounted the iPhone 12 Pro Max to the slider to create a push-in time-lapse shot, which the results were pretty amazing. Next is the four axis shot. For this shot, I use the SlidePod Pro and a gimbal. This way you can create a four axis shot. If you have the Moza Air Cross 2, you can pair both SlidePod Pro and the Moza Air 2 to have more control and create dynamic shots. The setup possibilities are really endless with the SlidePod Pro. I would have loved to show you more, but I simply hadn't much time to shoot everything. But this should give you a good idea of how you can use the SlidePod Pro creatively in your videos. Overall, the SlidePod Pro is a great tool that allows me to shoot creatively without the need of having to have a difficult setup. This not only saves time, but with the three-in-one functionality, I can be even more productive not having to bring a bunch of gear with me. I like how it's portable and I can definitely imagine working with it on professional shoots. It's amazing how you can shoot in difficult angles, especially the upwards moving shot is hard to achieve on a traditional slider. But with the SlidePod Pro, the setup is very easy. No matter if I want my shots to move upwards or sideways, it is super easy to use. For product shoots, the SlidePod Pro comes in really handy and using it with a gimbal, you can create four axis movements to create more dynamic shots. The faster and longer longer range of the pole does make a difference and allows me to create longer moving shots. Also, if you're a one-man crew where you need to film yourself, the SlidePod Pro is a great camera assistant for creating moving shots in your videos. So as you can see, the SlidePod Pro offers a lot and if you're looking for an all-in-one solution, the SlidePod Pro is a great option for capturing amazing shots. The SlidePod Pro is currently on Kickstarters. If you want to support their project, make sure to check out the link below and get your early bird offer. Now, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Make sure to leave a comment and let me know what you think about the new SlyPod Pro. Follow me on Instagram at Bennett Grazer and also follow George at georgemota82 for helping me out. If you haven't checked out the SlyPod e-review where I go more in depth on how it works, make sure to watch that video as well. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you in the next video.